right, let's go check out the War Tycoon operations. Let's just check out how many there What? Alright, so the Apache, it's really good. So, and the number five spot is, of course, the Apache. Um, the reason why I put it at number five instead of, like, a higher, because there's, there's, like, a helicopter better than it, but it is still a really solid thing you should get. So, as soon as you unlock helicopters, I recommend doing the task for it. It's not that hard. It's only, like, get 25 kills. That's not that bad. Um, so the Apache is really good. You can fly it really well. Uh... It has 38 missiles, which is really good, but if it had, like, bullets, oh, it would be the top spot. It also has 8 tracking missiles, I'm pretty sure, like, that's the most in the entire game. So, yeah, that's, yeah, that's why it's the number 5 spot. I don't think it sees me. Yeah, the guy, he doesn't see me. Wait, why'd he stop moving? Wait. Crap. Alright, so, number 4 on this list is the moss. And you may be saying, well, there's tanks that are better than it. Well, it is really easy to get. You only have to find tank parts. And that takes around, like, 10 to 20 minutes. It's not that long. Um, it also has two tank shots. And it also has bullets. And bullets are pretty good. I don't know, but, like, the main part about this tank is that it's really beefy. And it might go a little slow, but that's fine. Um, it has two tank shots. One is 128 millimeters, I think. And the other one's 75 millimeters. I don't know what that changes, but if you want it, you can have it. Uh, with the 128, you can one-shot a bridge. Yeah, boom. Like, the bridge just gets one shot. And that's really useful if you're getting chased by, like, a more nimble, like, tank. And it's on the bridge. Blow it up, oh, blow up the bridge. You're fine. Um, yeah, so it's number four on this list. There's not a lot to talk about it. It's just really, it's a really beefy and easy, like, tank to get, so I recommend getting it. Alright, what a nice day to have of my laser APC. What is that in the distance? What? Alright, so now we're going to be talking about the laser APC. So, the laser APC, it is a really good, like, starter vehicle. It's not really a good endgame vehicle when you have, like, tanks and stuff, but it is really good. It also has a slash, I never knew about that. But anyway... It's a really good vehicle for, like, early game. Like, it's not that hard to get. Just get, like, a few kills with, like, grenades. And then you just have this really good tank. Like, it's really... It's, it's pretty beefy. It has four missile shots, which isn't that good. But it also has explosive bullets. And this is basically just, like, a free version of the CRV. Um, I don't recommend using this in late game. Just use the Moss in late game. But this is a really good early game vehicle in which you, like, get, like, one rebirth or something. So, yeah. Yeah, the laser APC. Alright, I'm gonna take a little shortcut over here. Alright. Let's go on the bridge. Wait, no, stop, 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 stop. No, no, no! Alright, so, number two on this list is the T32. So now you're thinking... Okay, it's really hard to get. Also, what what happened to the moss? Well, the moss, it is slow, and it's more of, like, a beefy tank that it's, like, it comes with other tanks. It's still a really good tank, don't get me wrong, but it is way too slow to actually, like, the turning speed, it's way too slow to actually do any, like, heavy damage. The moss is, like, a good starter tank. Like, get it if you're, like, you want to get your first tank. But the T32, it's a good, like, second tank to get after the moss because it's the, probably the e one of the easier tanks to get and it, it packs a punch um it ha only has one missile but it's like a really heavy it's a pretty good one so 125 millimeter and it also has bullets but it also has a gunner guy so your friend can help you and that's pretty good uh i'm pretty sure it can also one shot the bridge well now the bridge is gone so you can eat take out the bridge pretty easily and basically it's just really good so if you like we're actually doing like a real like army, like in those words, then the T32 is probably like one of the tanks that are like in the front, and then the mosses are like on the sides. But this is a really good tank. It, it, it's really powerful. It, it's only one part. Like it's only one part each, and that's oh I got a camo skin. I'm gonna put that on. 
But, as I was saying, it's really good, so get it. My name is Jamar. I come from afar. A rock ball! So, the honorable mention, um, before the number one spot, is the Eurocopter. It is re it's probably the best helicopter you can get. Um, you may be saying, you might be thinking, well, the Apache has lock-on missiles. That has, but this one has eight lock-on missiles as well. And it has bullets. Also, it is really beefy. There's also, as the Apache, it also, also, like, like the Apache, there's a, there's a guy that can go into the gunner seat and go pow, pow, pow. It also has guns as well, it also has guns as well. It has eight tracking missiles, which is the same as the Apache, and it's really, like, easy to drive. Um, yeah, there's not much to say about it, except for, like, you should get this, but, like, ow. Alright, I'm just gonna go on a little drive in my truck. Um... Oh, did they add, like, some blue grass? So, this might be an unpopular opinion, but the number one spot goes to the Vietnam armor. It is probably my favorite armor. Let's find it. Well, not my favorite. Well, not the... My, yeah, you know what I mean. Where is it? It's over here somewhere. Here it is. Revive 15 players, and you get the best armor in the game. This is like away from the Robux one. This is literally two. This is literally the best armor in the game. It's better than the one upstairs. So this might be like an unpopular opinion, but you need armor, and it's not even that hard to get. It's really easy to provide 15 players. Boom! You have the best, second best armor in the game. That's basically all I got to say about it. So yeah, you can survive like a headshot from like one, like a, from a sniper. If you, if you, like, try hard enough. But anyway, that's the end of today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you like the, like, if you like the new editing style, make sure to also comment down below. Uh, I need some video ideas, so comment down your video ideas. Um, I'm not gonna do Sea of Thieves content. I've been asked that before. I'm not doing it. I, I don't even have Sea of Thieves. So anyway, make sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to use your lungs. Uh, see you in the next video.